Okay, so let's find the moment of inertia, the area moments of inertia about this cross-sectional area about the x-axis and the y-axis. So I lifted this from a different figure, a different problem. So don't worry about finding the centroid. Sometimes we will find the centroid. Um, so don't worry about those axes or finding the centroid. Let's find the moment of inertia about this bottom x-axis. And let's find the moment of inertia about this y-axis. All right, so let's start with I x. So this is a composite body. I'm, I'm going to just take this to be three different rectangles. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, let's see, call this rectangle one, this rectangle two, this rectangle three. So I'm just going to add up all of the eyes. All right, so let's look at rectangle one. Rectangle one, uh, the, um, so let's don't flip back to our um, formula sheet. Ix is 1 12th bh cubed. Iy is 1 12th hb cubed. And we only have rectangles right here. All right, so this first uh, rectangle right here, let's do it in blue, would be 1 12th bh cubed. But that is the Ix about the centroid. That's the Ix about that axis. I want to move it an AD squared, right? P use the parallel axis theorem. Move it, add AD squared. The D would be 15. Do you see how we're, how this line is 15 millimeters away from that line? All right, so that's the I from that rectangle. Let's do rectangle number two. 1 12th B H cubed. But that's the I about the middle right there. Where's the middle of something that is 170 millimeters tall? The middle would be 85. So I need to move it 85 down. So I need to move the distance A. The A is base times height. And the distance D would be 85 squared. And then the third rectangle at the very top, 1 12th. B H cubed, but that's the I about that one. I need to move it A D squared. So A uh, is 30 times 100. D, what's the distance D I need to move it? I need to move it 15 down plus 140 plus 30. I need to move it 185 right there. So that is the I. Add those together to get the Ix 154 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th. 154 times 10 to the 6. Very large number. All of these were in millimeters, 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 millimeters. Everything was millimeters to the 4th. All right, so there's the I about that x-axis down there. How about the I about the y? Well, let's look at rectangle number 1. 1 12th h b cubed. 30 times 170 cubed, uh, that's the I, I, Y, right? All these I, Y's are about Y axes. So I need to move this I, Y, uh, let's see, that way plus 30, right? 85 plus 30, I need to move it 115 squared. So this is A, D squared. The D is 115. Uh, so, sorry, adding all those to get i y now we're adding all these to, to get i th those were i x this is i y all right so the uh second rectangle 112 h b cubed plus area what distance do i need to move it? the formula gave me the distance about the centroid but i need to move it just a little bit 15 squared that last one 112 h B cubed. Now, did you notice that our, our I, Y, and I, X are, we kind of switch the height and the base, right? We kind of switch the height and the base. We kind of switch the height and the base, all right? This area is the same. That's the same. That's the same. This is still going to be 30 times 100. Okay, but 
just recalculate these distances. These distances are completely different from x to y. Uh, don't try to reuse anything like that. Uh, what would this one be? If this one would be 50, right? If this is, has a base of 100, then this middle right here would be 50 uh, over here squared. All right. Add those up. I got an IY 91.6 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th. There we go. So composite bodies, break it up into different shapes. Find the I of each of those shapes, add them all together. Each of those shapes, you might need to move it to the axis that you want to calculate the moment of inertia about. All right, so each one of those I had to add AD squared to get the um, moment of inertia about the axis I was interested in. All right.